In this video, I'm going to go over the reasons why we carrier as a manufacturer have decided to move forward with R454B as our refrigerant. As many of you know, the industry, the EPA has mandated that HVAC manufacturers move from R410A to a lower GWP refrigerant, uh, GWP standing for global warming potential. So basically the EPA wants HVAC manufacturers as a whole to move on to a refrigerant that has a lower global warming potential. The EPA has mandated that the new refrigerant have a GWP of lower than 700. Right now, the refrigerant that we use is R410A, has a GWP of over 2000. So we, as, a, as an industry, have to select a refrigerant that is lower than 700. The two leading candidates for the new refrigerant are R32 and R454B. So let's talk about R32 first. Uh, a number of different manufacturers are moving with R32. Why is that? Why are they going with R32? The reason they're going with R32 is because they have equipment in different markets that already use this refrigerant. So for these manufacturers, it'll be a lot easier for them to you take that equipment from different markets and they can be used here in the North American markets. R32 has a GWP of 675, so that is underneath the 700 threshold that the EPA has mandated. Now, why did we as carrier decide to go with R454B? The reason, the main reason why carrier decided to go with R454B is that in the future, we, we foresee the EPA further lowering the GWP requirements even lower than what they're mandating, uh, which is 700 as of January 1st, 2025. So we are looking towards the future, say in maybe five or 10 years, they decide that the new GWP limit is 500. The GWP of R54B is 466. So if and when that happens, Carrier is already positioned to keep selling current equipment into the future. Now, there's always a chance that the EPA can choose a different number. They could choose a lower GWP limit. And at that point, we might have to, we'll, we'll have to use a different refrigerant. But for now, R454B meets the requirements of January 1st, 2025. And but maybe potentially into the future where they might lower it to say 500. Now both R32 and 454B, they're both A12 refrigerants. So they are slightly flammable. Uh, and there are we are taking measures to, to mitigate any risks that might happen if a system were to leak. But as far as GWP limits mandated by the EPA, we are underneath that 700 limit. I hope that sheds some light on to why we as carrier are using R454B as our refrigerant of choice. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the question or the comment section down below. Uh, please share this video with anybody who might have any questions on why we use R454B. And if there's any types of other videos that you would like to see from us, uh, please leave them in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.